The normal background radiation sounds like this. But this rock... It's a little more interesting. And it's this rock which turned out to be the clock which allowed us to date the Earth. The rock contains uranium, an element that loses subatomic particles over time. Those losses change uranium into other elements with fewer particles. It's a process known as radioactive decay. If you leave uranium around for years, it all turns into lead. But it turns into lead a little bit at a time. So you can measure the rate at which it turns into lead. Once you know this rate, which is not hard to figure out physically by watching the process happen in real time, you can go to a rock sample, uh, break it open, and measure the relative amounts of different kinds of lead and uranium in it, and determine from this how long it's been since the rock cooled. Um, this was a phenomenal discovery, and in the very earliest, most simple attempts at it, it was discovered that, in fact, the Earth had to be an order of magnitude older than previous estimates had argued for. And the average looked like it was about two and a half billion years at that time. Ultimately, rocks are found that are four and a half billion years old. 